All right, boys. So global is getting the same name thingy rule. This thing. Uh, very soon. They got the update notice today in today's update notice. I think. All right, maybe it's not there, but I know you're getting it anyway. But there's a lot of cool teams that you could do, but people don't like cool. People like broken, right? So everyone's just going to run triple go through and you're not going to have fun. Or triple Eskin or everything, right? Which I don't think is even that broken, but it's pretty strong. Um, anyway, there's this team, which is pretty fun, and it's still pretty good. So the way it works, you have double Zeldris. You use Zeldris Commandment because you want to cleanse the Gother debuff if you face a triple Gother. And then, obviously, they're all demons, so Assault Melee works. And then you have Green Zeldris, who gives you basic stats if they're debuffed, which you will have debuffs from them attacking you and getting the defense down. And then you'll have um, Red Zeldris giving you stats based on how many commandments are on the field. I wish it was commandments and demons, but it's just commandments. It is what it is. Maybe they should update it, I think. But I will actually put them in the back, and instead of Kusak, I'm going to run Sigurd. Um, because I just did a match, a test match, and I feel like that's definitely what I needed. Um, right? Which sucks, because I really want to get his commandment. We could just do this, because we still have full control. We still get the basic stats and everything. And yes, I am running attack food. Uh, is this more CC? I don't think so. Eh, it is. Eh, whatever. Alright, cool. Anyway, that's the team we're running. Uh, I might switch to old food later, but we can rush ultimate because we can move cards, right? Which is why I just like this, like, more damage-oriented team. Because Sigurd will just give us buffs if they're debuffed. So they're forced to, like, attack us and everything. Uh, because then they get scared. The only team this team really genuinely does, like, like, does not have a chance against is Bond team. Like, you just don't have enough damage to take them out. Uh, you, and because you can't rush ult, it doesn't work that well. And they just have so much health and melee is type disadvantage against all of them. But this works. I might also do triple derriere. My blue derriere is not built up in the slightest though. So I'd have to build her up. But I should build her up anyway because she's really good. Uh, but alright. So we're first. Uh, obviously first we gotta check if he has dodge food. And then we swipe. And then I'll just move cards. Now the issue is that if he moves cards he can remove debuffs. Uh, as well. Right. Um... Which that is annoying. If I think we don't face, we won't face a go through. I can just run the other uh, Zeldris in the front. Which cocks technically our crit stuff, but it's more beneficial to us than it is detrimental to us. Because uh, it affects the opponents as well. And it's unlucky we got an assault melee first match, but it was also very important. So we pretty much know that my L slash corrupted Esterosa, whatever, is going to come at the end of the month. Um, the same way we had like the, the one in uh, Assault Mode last year. So, I think, personally, that Assault Mode is going to get his Holy Relic when that happens. Now, I don't know about you. Uh, I actually have to move because I, I want to do this and this and we'll see if we can kill him. Um, oh, nice. So, I want to see if we can kill... Uh, I was going to say, right. Assault Mode, I think it's going to get his Holy Relic. With my all corrupted my mail Esserosa, whatever it's called, dropping. That, you know what I'm talking about. With that guy dropping, he, I think he's going to get his Holy Relic. And, oh wait, his Sigurd spawned in and gave him the buffs. That is unfortunate. Uh, anyway, so I think he's going to get his Holy Relic, but I don't know what his Holy Relic could be. So if you have an idea, let me know. Okay, she's gonna. That, that, okay, that is scary because she's just gonna kill someone next turn. We can't do anything about it. Um, so that is. Uh, that's pretty big. But we can kill his assault melee. For sure. Uh, and I'll just do this to get his ultimate so he's forced to ult my Sigurd. Bop. Damn, both crits. I mean, yeah, yeah he hit Defense Lord. I should have snatched first. But, I mean, it wouldn't have done much. Okay, sick. Now, his dairy hopefully old Sigurd. I hope. <laughs> and then we just ult her. And then we're being chilling. As they say. Let's see. Yeah, hey, okay, she assaults Assault Melee, so I, I just ult her then. Okay, well, either way. 600k almost, damn. <laughs> that dairy does a lot of damage, doesn't she? Uh, but yeah, I mean, he's dead, so it does not matter. 
She doesn't have dodge anymore, can't dodge ultimates anyway. And then we do this, this, just do this, why not? She's a commandment, so she's actually buffing us. Because we serve red soldiers. But, eh, dead. And then he's probably dead too. Let's see, but... Oh, he forfeits. Oh, nice, we get to see the, the boring circuit windscreen. Actually the worst windscreen in the entire game. It's, he just turns around. That's all it is. It's so weird. But yeah, I mean, uh, it's kind of weird that we got Assault Melee as our first matchup, but it is what it is. Also, uh, I can show you this now. I've been getting very lucky but unlucky with my King Summons, so I have 11 Fest Coins. But all my Fests are 6-6. Six, six. My Margaret is not. She's 2-6 though. So I'd need 12 Fest Coins to buy 4 copies. And when Corrupted Earth Rosa comes out, she will be in the shop because she's a Holy War Fest. And then I can just 6-6 six, six her. Easy clap. Well, we'll see. I'll wait after my summons, obviously, because I'll probably pull a bunch of her on the banner too. But, pretty cool. Yeah, I can just do that now. I was thinking of 6-6 six, six and Gother, the, the fast go because that's actually the, the only fest uh, that I don't have 6-6 six, six as well. But I don't like Gother. Um, <laughs> I don't use him. I think he's broken and slept on, but he's so boring that people, that's why people sleep on him, because people don't care for him. What is that team? Oh, that's an anti-king team. That's a, that's an anti-king. All right. Uh, well, he might have dodge food because if it's anti-king, uh, so we'll do the same thing again. Do this, this, and then okay. Since I don't think people are running Gothar, I'm actually gonna have green soldiers in the front. Uh, after this, and I'll just move these again. Same as last turn. Damn. No dodge food. We crit. Wow. Wait, what? Wait, what? What's Fest Zelda's crit resistance? I swear it's mad high. How are we critting him with like no crit? Well, let's see. Execution of Zelda's crit resistance. Forty percent base. Yeah, we shouldn't be critting him that easily, at least. Uh. But okay, I mean, I don't mind. That is rude. Oh, why would you? Why would you do that? Why would you? You should attack with Zelda's first, and then with Merlin, by the way. But, all right. Uh. Okay. So. I know who we want to kill. Do I kill him first? Her? Can I kill her? Do I have enough damage? One, two, three, we'll see. Bob. Bob. Okay, sick. I could I could I should've just ranked dude. Cause I would have just killed like straight up. Especially with the crit. Actually, no, I think she would have lived with one HP regardless. I think they would have like I think she had over 80% HP when we hit her. I think. Hard to say. Also, he had rum in the back just for Merlin. Interesting. Actually, his team has mad base sets too, because Keo plus uh, green, uh, green Zogis, obviously. Classic. A million stats. Um, Alright, Keo is annoying me. Even though I can cleanse it, I don't want to have to like move a card. And I'll cleanse on, on him. I can cleanse on him too. No, I'll, I'll, I'll just use this to snatch. Uh, oh, there we go. <laughs> okay. Uh, if he doesn't forfeit here, it's a bot, and it's very sad. Damn, okay, Sigurd doing mad damage, even though his crit damage is lowered. Oh, yeah, Zelda's all? I don't think it kills. Because I, I have to remember that people don't just, like, have 6-6 six, six fests like that. So he's probably not 6-6. Six, six. Uh, yeah. Like, I'm, I'm always expecting people to just have 6-6, six, six, but it's so unrealistic to have 6-6, six, six, right? Like, unless you whale. Like, I have most things 6-6, six, six, but I will. Uh, not as crazy as other people, but... I don't have everything 6-6. Six, six. I have the stuff that I think is worth it 6-6, six, because six, uh, I don't make infinite off YouTube. And I don't, I don't want to spend more than I make on this game. Like, that's my philosophy with this game. Pog, we won again. Yeah, but this is probably assault mode. This is probably the strongest assault mode will be until Mile drops, and then he'd probably be strong. We're running attack food by the way the entire time. Um, if you haven't, if you didn't notice, that's yeah, just because we have double Zeldris assault mode, and super high CC, and my cigarette doesn't have bad CC either. So, yeah. Which, by the way, Sigurd's still a fantastic unit. I think he slept on. Uh, I think his tempo is a little too slow. Like. He takes it too long to get going because you have to wait one whole turn. Uh, and they can counteract your turn pretty easily. 
Uh, but other than that, I think it's a fantastic unit. And I think people need to... Like, Nimrod needs to make more units like this. Countess has two races. Works both well on both teams. Um, brings back a card type of card that hasn't been seen in a long time. This guy is lagging. Oh, there you go. <laughs> We're in the match now. Um, okay, well, hello? Oh my goodness. Is that my connection? Oh, I should have attacked first with Zodra said. Because he might have dodge food. Okay, that doesn't. Okay, sick. Oh, damn. I like that team he's running. I think the Zoldus and the one is a really good combo. But the only issue is that you don't have, you don't really have like many debuffs. Uh, so Zoldus doesn't like do. Do you just move cards three times? Does he not realize that I've read Zoldus? What is he that? What? I mean, sure. I'm just gonna attack then. Uh, just do this, this, and then I'll just move this here, here. I guess, yeah. What? What? Why? Why did you just move cards on everyone to get rid of the, the debuff? You gotta have it again. Or was he gonna wait until a turn where I can't debuff him like whatsoever and then buff? Wait, what? No, in no world does that make sense. Because he's gonna have to attack me like at some point. There you go. Now, now he goes for the boy. Alright, double crit. Alright. And the other thing's gonna crit too? Oh, rank 3. It doesn't matter if it crits or not. Yeah. Uh, he's dead. He's gone. Uh, we don't get the attack, sadly, but we can kill this guy pretty easily. Uh, I'm going to assume this kills. Uh, I don't want to use melee cards unless I have to. So we're just going to get Zodus ultimate. Because like, if I crit with, with thingy, then his crit chance and damage will be lowered. Uh, you could auto... Okay. Interesting uh, targeting there. But he has to attack now. He wasted. He used both as the one cards um, that he had in his hands. So we we'll see if he pulled more. He didn't use any Zelda's cards yet, so he probably just has a bunch of Zelda's cards. He actually drew a bunch card. Damn. Shit, Bison. I don't know who we kill here. Oh, he has a rank. Okay. And right, never mind. You know, we're not ulting anyone, I guess. Uh. Uh, I'll just do this and just rank three with two buffs Might kill We'll see. I should probably just get rid of him, but It's too much damage to give up on and also if we do hurt him a lot We cuck his influx so or his, his bonk his flood. I actually I don't know why I forgot what the, the global term is Let me let me check Escanor uh, Escanor where is he? What is it? Ugly dickhead. There you go. It's Flood. Okay. And regardless of who he kills now, because he's not going to kill Fest Zodus. Fest Zodus can kill the one next turn. And then his Fest Zodus isn't that big of a threat to me. Okay, he's going for like an absolute not the right target. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know what his issue is with this guy. Oh. Damn. Fest Zodus is probably one of my favorite units still. Like, actually such a cool unit. Alright, so we do this, this, and this kills. And then, in case it doesn't kill, we do this. But I'm pretty sure this kills. This rank 2 probably kills by itself, yeah. Yo, go on Zodras, go on Zodras, go on Zodras. Oh my god, it went on Zodras. Alright, easy dub. Alright, where's the fourth for that? Imagine he merged into an ultimate, I just die. I lose. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wait. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Wait, that's Holy Relic. Wait, rank 3 Holy Relic. We might... Oh, we lost. Wait. Yeah, because we don't have ult removal. Unless we, we draw another ult removal card. Okay, we did. Okay, cool. We're chilling. We're chilling. We're being chilling. Because uh, I have to do this to disable his ult move. Oh, boy. Does this kill? Oh, shit. Oh wait, oh no, I'm one off ult, no. <laughs> All right, I think we don't win. <laughs> uh, I'm, I know we don't win. Very, bruh, holy relic bomb, man. 
It's just different. Regular bond would have been useless. I was just just a punching bag for me, but this bond obviously a little different. If he's smart, he just buffs. Or he just kills me, I guess. He has just has another rank three. Meanwhile, I have AoE, attack, AoE, ult. Cringe. Unlucky, dude. I thought we had this in the bag mad easy, and then the Holy Relic Bond just decided to just show me what a Holy Relic Bond is. You know what? That was a good match, though. So I think I'm going to end it off on that one, boys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Again, let me know what you think Assault Melee's Holy Relic might be, like how it affects him. I think, personally, Holy Relic for Assault Melee is going to give him a Focus Sash type of thing. Now you can 100 to 0 him in, like, in one turn, uh, which would work really well with his kit, I think. Uh, obviously, because he he keeps he 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 he'd heal, heal to full, then you get him down to one HP because of his holy relic, and then he'd heal to full, you get him down to one HP, and over like so so on and so forth. Yo, I thought it was an SSR. Hold on, single single stun. I'm gonna show you a hidden tech. Hidden tech. Trust me, it works every single time if I do it right. I did it wrong. I, I was too slow. I was too slow. I'm sorry. You have to insta skip. But like before it even comes out, you have to end the skip because then that marble doesn't have enough time to shaft you. Right? Their computer isn't like it isn't quick enough to go like, oh shaft. Like, now I said it out loud so they heard it. So it might not work now, but look, I'm I'm gonna end skip this, this SR ticket. Ah uh, it didn't let me. It didn't let me. They knew, they they heard it, it didn't let me. But you can, like generally speaking, you actually can. And when you insta skip, you just uh, you get it. But like you see the skip? I can't see the skip. It doesn't it doesn't work like that. Let's let's do let's do uh, another SR ticket real quick. I'll show you. Like, trust, trust. We'll, we'll do an SR ticket here. Trust, it'll work. Trust, 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 trust. SSR here, guaranteed. Watch. Wow, look, we got Sarrel. It's just that easy, boys. It's just that easy. All right. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. That's an SR ticket, by the way. Don't let it fool you. I hope you guys enjoyed. Good job.